Hello everyone. I'm myself Dr. Rajesh Guba. I'm the general medicine educator on an academy. So I welcome you all to this particular session of the clinical sign of the day. So before starting the session, let me just give you updates from an academy. An academy has come up with a very important question bank, which includes only clinical questions. And there are nearly around 25,000 plus high leading clinical questions in this question bank. And an academy is starting these particular batch courses, which have started already from the 1st of September. And these batch courses will be useful for the students appearing for NEET PG and as well as the FMGE exam. And to get subscribed to these courses, you can use my code that is MED10, wherein you will get an additional 10% discount on your subscriptions. And there is a grantor series which are going on on an academy. This grantor series will be useful for the students appearing for the NEET PG exam. So having said this, let me start with the clinical sign of the day. The question is, what is responsible for the myriad of physical examination findings in patients with severe aortic regurgitation to have these signs? So let me just play the video first and see the options and then answer the question. Yes, so you can observe that. Okay, so already it has been given to you as the dancing carotids. Right, so this is another important sign that is locomotor brachialis. So you can observe that the pulsations which are present over the brachial artery. Yes, so the question is about like what is the mechanism for the development of these particular signs? The options are arrhythmias increased stroke volume, congestive heart failure, backward regurgitation flow. So everyone is aware of the various signs in aortic regurgitation. But the question that is being asked is, what is the mechanism for the development of those particular signs? So the answer to this question is increased stroke volume. That is what is responsible for the signs in patients with aortic regurgitation. Now, let me discuss what is this increased stroke volume? Why does that happen in aortic regurgitation? So, in patients with aortic regurgitation, and as well as if you compare that with the normal individual, what happens is in a normal individual, whenever the ventricle is in a state of diastole, the ventricle will receive the blood only from left atrium, whereas from the aorta, you will not receive the blood in a normal individual. But in patients with the aortic regurgitation during left ventricular diastole, the left ventricle will receive the blood from left atrium and as well as the left ventricle will also receive the regurgitated blood. So thereby what will happen to the quantity of the blood in the left ventricle, it increases compared to the normal value. So subsequently when the left ventricle is contracting, what will happen? There will be increased volume of the blood that will enter into the iota. So during diastole, excess amount of blood is coming back into the left ventricle. Whereas during systole, excess amount of blood is going back into the iota and subsequently into various systemic vessels. And that is what is responsible for the pulsations in various organs in our body in patients with the severe aortic regurgitation. So, Increased flow of blood going into the aorta during systole is not your increased stroke volume. So it is your increased stroke volume in patients with severe aortic regurgitation is responsible for the development of these signs. Now I'll just show you another very important beautiful sign in patients with aortic regurgitation. Right. So if you observe this sign here. Yes, so you can appreciate that. So you need to concentrate exactly over this area. Watch the video properly exactly at this site. So if you closely observe that, what is that you are able to make out? You are able to make out the pulsations within the nail. So when you compress the nail, you are able to appreciate the pulsations over the nail. Right? If you did not observe properly watch the video once again and this is a beautiful sign in patients with IOT regurgitation and what is the name of that particular sign the name of that particular sign is nothing but it is the queen key sign right so 
this particular sign is nothing but Quinky's sign that is also seen in patients with the severe aortic regurgitation. So these are the signs which you should be able to elicit in patients with severe aortic regurgitation and the mechanism is increased stroke volume. Right? So I hope you have appreciated these particular signs and if you have liked this particular video just please press the like button and share the video to your friends which will be helpful to everyone. Thank you very much and see you again in the next video.